So these are our construction ready drawings. They were issued for construction and they represent each location of the, the luminaires that are on the, um, the bridge. Originally there were 44 luminaires and now the new set, the new lighting system has 62. And the additional luminaires were basically added to the towers. So we could illuminate the towers for all the way down to the river and all the way up uh, in a more even fashion. But kind of how the, this, these were the drawings that Frank Miller and company used to get them installed. Um, actually nine different light fixtures that are out there on the bridge, which is different from the original as well. The original only had one type of light fixture out there. So the, it's a very highly designed system that minimizes light spill and um, energy use. So we use the least amount of energy days. It never really did such a good job of that. So you can really see that the tower was never really lit all the way to the top. It was just because the lights wouldn't shine any further than what they could. Well, now we are, those lights are shining all over the top of that tower, which is very different than what it was. So the, the photos that we take nowadays are going to be brighter, even more than they, than real life is, because cameras are correcting everything. These are what we call uh, pseudo color renderings. And what it does is it helps me visualize um, how much light and where that light is. So like the, the red areas are where it's the brightest and like the blue areas over here where it's the darkest. This one represents the original lighting system to the, when it was at the best of its abilities. And you kind of see how ununiform and um, it's just it wasn't very uniform and it wasn't very bright. Where compared to the new system, it's fairly uniform and very much bright. You can see the I was this was something I was really paying attention to is just how much light I was getting at the top of those towers, how much light was on the H bar, um, the light that was down at the bottom, and then the cables itself. So it would tell me just how much light was there on that cable as well. And this was all possible because. Um, uh, Cindy Larson from Klinger and Associates was able to uh, find the original specifications and the original drawings of the uh, of the bridge, and where it showed me all of the, the a lot of the dimensions. And you can see me; these red lines are me uh, pro PDF that they gave me to uh, get some feel for what those dimensions were, and they have different elevations on there that I used. Just locating those cables to make it resemble this was the challenge. This is a pseudo color, but I can also view it the way in color. So it showed me like how the shadowing might look in comparison to the real thing. And when we did the church steeples, this was one of those things where the design software when done properly can be so real that, and this is the same way, these, these little shadow areas that show up on my drawing absolutely show up on that. This, yeah, this particular light would go on the main uh, tower uh, there's a number of them that go in that location, but this is one of the larger ones that we've got. Uh, what they're planning to do is uh, you'll end up doing a test fire and then let it fully warm up to uh, determine if there's going to be fixture failures uh, prior to actual installation. The light will actually be mounted uh, similar to this here, shining up at the, at the tower. Or in also in this main center, there will be some of them shining down towards the water uh, on the bottom of the tower as well. Uh, the rest of it will also be shining up the cables. So I'm working on light number 28 right here, and it's at a the F8 light fixture, and it's set at a 24 and a half degree angle. So all I do is I unbox it. Then I'll come over here and I'll get all my hardware ready. <laughs> 